About five weeks ago, uh, I went just for a normal visit to check my cholesterol and, and uh, just my different levels. And uh, the nurse practitioner I went to see is a good friend of my wife's. And she was like, update my chart, my files, or medicines, or whatever. Uh, and she said, you never went and took your stress test. I was like, I didn't, because my echo came back fine. And she's like, well, I'm scheduling this today. And I said, yes, ma'am. So <laughs> I went to my stress test at Hatchburg Clinic. Uh, they injected me with my dye. They took pictures. Uh, waited 30 minutes. I jumped on the treadmill. They said, at your age, it should take four and a half to five minutes to get your heart rate up to 160. Uh, I ran for 9 minutes and 45 seconds, and he cut the machine off, and I was only at 155, and he laughed and said, there's no way anything is wrong with you. Uh, so I waited an extra 30 minutes, they injected more dye, they took more pictures, and I went home. Uh, a nurse called me and said, Mr. Seville, we looked at your pictures, and there's one little blemish on your photo. We think it's the dye didn't make it there, or the camera was off. She goes, or you've had a heart attack. And I was like, well, good Lord, you just went from zero to six. <laughs> and I said, I know I hadn't had a heart attack. So uh, Dr. Blair, Josh Blair in Hattiesburg, he's a good buddy of mine. He's my cardiologist. And, uh, so I went in, talked to him. He said he knew I was hard-headed, uh, which I am. And I was like, well, man, if we came this far, why don't we just do a, a heart cath and put this baby to rest? Um, a couple hundred more dollars, and just to have peace of mind is all I really wanted. I went in did it, uh, and I, I was a little foggy when he came in the room still from having that, but the look on his face was like he had seen a ghost, and he, uh, he told me that I had to have a bypass at 43 years old, uh, so, but uh, having kids and having, you know, a wife and business to look at her, it hit me, uh, I've always been tough, I'm not a crier uh, at all, but uh, I bawled that day. Um, it's scary. There's one thing you don't want to mess with, and that's your heart. You have a bad finger, a bad toe, you got nine more. Uh, you got <laughs> just about two of everything in your body, except, you know, a couple of things in your chest. So I'm obviously not going to mess with that. But he, uh, he called two other doctors and the surgeon in to look at my calf just to make sure while I was still under that he was looking at what he was looking at. And, uh, he told me, he's like, I'm going to change the way I, I look at people and, and treat people just because of your case. A lot of friends of mine, a lot of people have gone and gotten tested because they saw it and thought I was as healthy as could be and makes them question their own body. So that's kind of cool to get that out of it. So. You've heard a lot of great comments from people? I have. It's encouraging. It's fun. To, again, I'm not one for the spotlight ever, but uh, it's, it's neat. You know, people checking on us and, and caring about us. It makes you feel better. and That helps lift your spirits through something like this, too.